Okay, superstars, hello and welcome back. We are on, uh, I think, week eight now of our online study. Thank you for trying your best, guys, in this difficult time. Nobody seems to know what is going on. We don't know about the future and if life is getting back to normal. So we are very lucky in Korea. We have a lot of freedom in Korea and life is pretty good, I think, especially compared to my home country or America. So we need to be careful and vigilant and not go out to bars and nightclubs in Itaewon. So that is very important. So it's good that Dongnam are being safe. Okay, so Dongnam are postponing our English face-to-face -face lectures until week 10, okay? May the 30th. So we'll check again very, very soon if we can have face-to-face -face classes or not. But until then, we have to continue with our online videos. So guys, thank you so much. It's really, really been a pleasure to watch you grow become more comfortable, become more confident in such a short space of time. I really think the videos have helped you improve your English and you have lots of videos to prove that your English is actually very, very good. So these videos are proof that you should never worry or fear talking in English, okay? So thank you so much for making these online videos. They make me smile every day. As usual, I always say the LMS, Dongnam's LMS. Unfortunately, I've never used it, okay? So don't worry about that. Please, I always check the Facebook groups. Use the Facebook groups. They will have all the announcements. On the Facebook group every week, I have an attendance post. Please like the post. Okay. I write your name in Korean and also write your student Hackbond number. Okay. So that will be your attendance. If you do that plus the homework, that is your attendance. Okay. Deadlines. Deadlines are not so important. But don't be too late. I won't actually check every video until the end of the semester, okay? So you have some time, but try and keep up, okay? So what I want to see is you talking English, of course, with a happy face and a smile. Be brave. I always say, don't be scared to make mistakes, okay? Eye contact happy face don't worry about masks okay don't use a mask hair like mine makeup shaving not important we are all staying home we don't need to be beautiful okay just be comfortable do it in your bedroom in your pajamas wherever you feel comfortable okay that is what I want to see Anytime, guys, you have a problem or any questions, please send me a message. Doesn't matter what it is. And you can write Korean, of course. Send it to Darren, okay? D-A-R-R-Y-N on Kakao, please. So, so far, there is no plan for a midterm test, face-to-face -face or writing, okay? No plan. But next week... I will tell you about our plans for your assignments, okay? So assignments, we still don't know exactly what to do, but there will be assignments before the end of the semester, okay? What I think will happen is there will be perhaps two or three videos you have to make for your assignment. if we cannot make a face-to-face -face writing exam or an interview exam, okay? 
So I will tell you more about that next week. So guys, please watch all of the video. I look on YouTube analytics to see who is watching the video. So be careful. I know who is doing all the work and who is not watching the videos. But guys, great. Your Facebook videos are spectacular and I'm really, really proud of you for doing them. Okay. I know it's been very, very hard. Listening to my lectures in English with me talking fast is very, very difficult. Making videos it's unbelievable. It takes a lot of bravery and courage to do that. So I really, really appreciate it, guys. So let me thank you for your hard work over these last eight weeks. I'm very sorry about the situation and the quality of the videos, but it's getting better and I hope it's benefited you. Okay, guys, I've tried my best. On with the show. Okay, superstars, hello and welcome back. We are on Unit 20 of Hotel and Hospitality English in today's online lecture. Today's unit title is Guest Services. In this unit, we are going to cover three main objectives. Firstly, ordering things for guests, making appointments and checking information. As always, we look at the picture and in the picture we can see Simon, the head of guest services. So he's behind the computer talking with a guest. So in this part, there will be three conversations, A, B and C. And then there will be, as usual, some understanding questions. So let's listen to the three conversations first and then talk about the questions. So please listen for the key phrases, any new vocabulary. And as usual, there may be problems with the speed they talk, uh, maybe their accents, and of course, new phrases, new vocabulary. So let's listen to track 31 together. Unit 20, Guest Services. Track 31, Exercise 1, Conversation A. Good morning, sir. What can I do for you? Hello. I'd like to order some flowers. It's my wife's birthday tomorrow. Of course, sir. What kind of flowers would you like? A bouquet of red roses, please. Could you have them delivered tomorrow morning at 9.30? Certainly, sir. I'll take care of that for you. Conversation B. Hello, madam. How can I help you? Is there a hairdresser in the hotel? I'm afraid not, madam. But I can make you an appointment at a local salon, if you like. Yes, please. Could you do that for me? I'd like an appointment at 11.30. Mrs. Lee? Of course, Mrs. Lee. I'll call them now. Conversation C. Hi, would you look something up for me? Yes, certainly, madam. What would you like me to look up for you? Could you check which terminal my flight leaves from? The flight number is EM693 to Dubai. One moment. I'll just check for you. It leaves from Terminal 3 at 1350. Thanks very much. Okay, guys, so three brief conversations. Perfect example of what uh, guest services do. Guests come with problems and questions and the guest services solve their problems and give them solutions. So let's look at part two, the understanding. It says, listen to the conversation again and decide whether the statements are true or false. Number one, in conversation A, the guest orders flowers for his wife for their wedding anniversary, okay? In conversation A, the guest orders flowers for his wife for their wedding anniversary. So is it true or false? Number two, there isn't a hairdresser in the hotel. There isn't a hairdresser in the hotel. 
true or false. Number three, Mrs. Lee wants a hair appointment at 11.30. Mrs. Lee wants a hair appointment at 11.30. Okay, true or false. Number four, in conversation C, the guest is flying at 15.30. True or false? In conversation C, the guest is flying at 15.30. True or false? In conversation C, the guest is flying to Dubai. In conversation C, the guest is flying to Dubai. Okay, guys, let's listen again. Five questions, true or false. Track 32. Unit 20, Guest Services. Track 31, Exercise 1, Conversation A. Good morning, sir. What can I do for you? Hello. I'd like to order some flowers. It's my wife's birthday tomorrow. Of course, sir. What kind of flowers would you like? A bouquet of red roses, please. Could you have them delivered tomorrow morning at 9.30? Certainly, sir. I'll take care of that for you. Conversation B. Hello, madam. How can I help you? Is there a hairdresser in the hotel? I'm afraid not, madam. But I can make you an appointment at a local salon, if you like. Yes, please. Could you do that for me? I'd like an appointment at 11.30. Mrs. Lee? Of course, Mrs. Lee. I'll call them now. Conversation C. Hi, would you look something up for me? Yes, certainly, madam. What would you like me to look up for you? Could you check which terminal my flight leaves from? The flight number is EM693 to Dubai. One moment. I'll just check for you. It leaves from Terminal 3 at 13.50. Thanks very much. Okay, guys, a bit more easy this time. So five questions. Let's go through them together. True or false? Number one. In conversation A, the guest orders flowers for his wife for their wedding anniversary. So was it wedding anniversary? No, this is false. So if you look in the second line, it's my wife's birthday tomorrow. Okay, so number one is false. It was his wife's birthday. Okay, he wouldn't order a bouquet, bouquet of red roses. Okay, so a bouquet is all the flowers grouped together. Number two, there isn't a hotel, uh, there isn't a hairdresser in the hotel, sorry. There isn't a hairdresser in the hotel, true or false, okay? So there isn't a hairdresser in the hotel. So guest, is there a hairdresser in the hotel? I'm afraid not, madame, okay? So the answer is true. There isn't a hairdresser in the hotel. Number three. Mrs. Lee wants a hair appointment at 11.30. Yes, that is true also. She says, I'd like an appointment at 11.30. Okay. I'd like an appointment at 11.30. So number three, true. Number four, in conversation C, the guest is flying at 15.30. Okay. So let's check conversation C. Okay. So it says, Simon says, one moment, I'll check for you. It leaves from Terminal 3 at 13.50, okay? 13.50, not 15.30. So this is false, okay? False. Finally, question five. In conversation C, the guest is flying to Dubai, okay? So is it to or from? Let's check. Could you check which terminal my flight leaves from? The flight number is EM693 to Dubai, okay, to Dubai. So the answer again is true. So I think pretty easy for you guys there, nothing too difficult. As usual, we'll look at the key phrases from the three conversations. So first part, it says key phrases for guest services. What can I do for you? What can I do for you? Okay. 
very, very important phrase when you work at an international hotel. So guys, please memorize these phrases and translate them into Korean. I'll take care of that for you. I'll take care of that for you. How can I help you? How can I help you? I can make you an appointment if you like. I can make you an appointment if you like. I'll call them now. I'll call them now. Okay. Would you like me to look something up for you? Would you like me to look something up for you? I'll just check for you. I'll just check that for you now. I'll just check that for you now. Okay. So guys, please memorize these key phrases and translate them into Korean. They will be at the back of your book and they will also be in your exams later. So very important to memorize these key phrases. Finally, on page 83, we have the language tip. It says use look up something for look something up. Okay. When you check information on the internet, for example, I'll look up the flight times for you. Okay. Look up. So it's checking. Very, very important. Okay, guys. So we've learned uh, some interesting points there about guest services. So for homework for Sukje, please do the three conversations, A, B, and C. It's okay to do them alone, but try and do them with a classmate or with uh, your family member or boyfriend. It's okay. Okay, guys, moving on. Thank you. Okay, guys, moving on to page 84. We are on part three, practice. Part three says, put the words in the sentences into the correct order. So there are four questions here. Please pause the video and complete the sentences yourself. Okay, super easy. You guys could have did this in elementary school, I think. Number one. What are these key phrases from the conversations? So unscramble the words. Number one says, I'll just check that for you. Okay. Or I'll just check for you. I'll just check for you. Okay. Very, very easy. I'll just check for you. Number two, unscramble the words. Look for the capital letter first. Okay. So number two says, would, would is the first word. Would you like me to look something up for you? Would you like me to look something up for you? Okay. Very, very easy. <coughs> number three, again, super easy for you superstars. I'll take care of that for you. I'll, so I will, I'll take care of that for you. No problems there. Number four. A uh, little bit more difficult. I can make an appointment for you if you like. I can make an appointment for you if you like. So part three, super easy. Nothing too difficult there. Let's move on to part four. It says complete the sentences with for, of, up at, on, or in. So these are prepositions, okay? For, of, up, at, on, or in. So what are they in Korean? Okay, we have six small sentences here. So again, pause the video and complete it yourself, and then I will help you after you unpause the video. Number one says, can you look something blank for me okay not too difficult we did it in the last part can you look something up for me can you look something up for me so number one up number two I'll I will I'll check the flight time blank the internet I'll check the flight time on the internet I'll check the flight time on the internet so number two on Number three, the flight leaves blank, 7.30. The flight leaves blank, 7.30, okay? So the flight leaves 
at 7.30. The flight leaves at 7.30. So number three, at. Number four, what can I do blank for you? What can I do blank for you? Okay. So what can I do for you? What can I do for you? So the answer to number four, four. Number five, the swimming pool opens mm. June. The swimming pool opens blank June. So the swimming pool opens in June. In June. So number five, in. Number six, I'll take care blank that for you. I'll take care blank that for you. Okay. I'll take care of that for you. I'll take care of that for you. So number six, of. So part three and part four, super simple for smart guys like you. So you can see a picture of Simon, the head of guest services, on the phone. So he'll be probably helping solve a guest's request or a problem. At the bottom of page 84, we have the language tip, okay? It says, use at in front of times, okay? For example, at 9.30, at 11 p.m., at 10 o'clock, okay? Use on in front of days, for example, on Monday, on Tuesday, on Wednesday. Use in in front of months, for example, in May, in June, in July. Okay? In American English, say on the weekend, on the weekend. However, in my country, in British English, Yonggook style English, we say at the weekend at the weekend so for weekends both on or at are acceptable so don't worry about that guys okay guys that was page 84 let's move on to the final page of unit 20 okay guys page 85 last page of unit 20 usual style here here is your second sukje video in today's uh, homework, you will have two CD tracks to copy after the beeps, okay? So first time we are going to listen to the two tracks completely through, and then I'll make it with the beeps. Okay, so it says you are working at a guest services counter. A guest wants some information, read the cues and help the woman, okay? So we will listen to Part five, first, all the way through, and then we will listen to part six. It says, you are working at the guest services desk. A guest wants some information. Read the cues and help the woman, okay? So we'll listen to track 35 after, okay? Here we go. Track, track 34, 53. Exercise 5, Model Conversation. Good morning. Can I help you? Hello. Is there a sauna in the hotel? Yes, there is. Is it open at the weekend? Yes, it is. What time does it open today? Today, the sauna opens at 10 o'clock and closes at 8 o'clock this evening. Is it a mixed sauna? Yes, it is, but it's ladies only on Saturday afternoon. Thank you. My pleasure. Have a nice day. Track 35. Exercise 6. Model conversation. Can you look something up on the internet for me? Of course. What would you like me to look up for you? Can you check which terminal the Delta flight from Toronto arrives at? Certainly. I'll look it up right away. Thanks. The Delta flight from Toronto arrives in Terminal 5 at 2015 this evening. Thanks. You're welcome. Have a nice day. Okay, so that was the first time. Let's listen to the two tracks again. Right. G3. Exercise 5. Model conversation. Good morning. Can I help you? Hello. Is there a sauna in the hotel? Yes, there is. 
Is it open at the weekend? Yes, it is. What time does it open today? Today, the sauna opens at 10 o'clock and closes at 8 o'clock this evening. Is it a mixed sauna? Yes, it is, but it's ladies only on Saturday afternoon. Thank you. My pleasure. Have a nice day. Track 34. 5. Exercise 6. Model conversation. Can you look something up on the internet for me? Of course. What would you like me to look up for you? Can you check which terminal the Delta flight from Toronto arrives at? Certainly. I'll look it up right away. Thanks. The Delta flight from Toronto arrives in Terminal 5 at 2015 this evening. Thanks. You're welcome. Have a nice day. Okay, superstars. We have listened to the tracks twice. So now is time for your homework. So usual style, you can use your CD or you can use this video, okay? So make a video and upload it to our Facebook page where you answer after the beeps, okay? Here we go, we are doing track 32. Four. Track 32, exercise 5. Hello, is there a sauna in the hotel? Is it open at the weekend? What time does it open today? Is it a mix sauna? Thank you. Three. Track 34. Exercise 6. Can you look something up on the internet for me? Can you check which terminal the Delta flight from Toronto arrives at? Thanks. Okay, superstars. Thanks. sorry about that so please upload your video to the facebook group so that concludes page 85 unit 20 guest services of hotel and hospitality english so now you can order things for guests help their problems of course offer to make appointments for them check information for guests and solve any of their problems. All key skills when you are working in a top international hotel. So thank you for listening and watching. Usual style guys, please upload conversation one and conversation role plays after the beeps for your homework. Thank you. Okay guys, thank you for watching the videos this week. That was units 17, 18 and 19 covering housekeeping and room service guys so maybe not very exciting a little bit boring but i've tried my best so now it's over to you guys for homework so for each of the three units usual style guys uh, i want you to make two videos so for homework Please complete the attendance, like the post, write your name in Korean writing with your student Hakbon ID number, please. Then two videos I want you to make, conversation one of each unit, so 17, 18, 19. 
So copy the conversation. You can change it if you wish. It would be great if you did it with your friend or your classmate or your boyfriend. It's okay. If you want to do it yourself, that's perfectly fine too. No problem. You can alter the conversation, change the vocabulary, change the phrases if you wish. Okay? But I want to see you talking English with a happy face, no masks, being comfortable. Okay? No stress. And then upload it onto our group. And same, the final page of each unit, the usual conversations after the beep. So same style. You can do it just with the CD, you could do it with my video, or you can do it with your friends or classmates. It doesn't matter. But I want to see you talking English with a happy face. That's the most important thing. Also, guys, if you go to the back of the book, pages 126 to 141, guys, please check that out. That is the key vocabulary and key phrases. So these are all from each unit. And what I say every time is, please memorize these key phrases and vocabulary in English and then please translate them into Korean. Okay, guys? Because these key vocabulary and key phrases will be in your tests and your interviews once we get back to school. Okay? So please memorize all these key phrases and vocabularies, guys. So thank you very much for watching the video. Thank you for trying your best. I hope going back to Dongnam goes well. It'll be good to see all your friends again. Maybe you can't go drinking for a little while, but it'll be good to get back to normal, guys. So have a good week. Thank you very much. See you soon. Stay safe. Bye-bye.